Hey, what's up, everybody? So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my bulk substrate. Uh, what bulk substrate is, is what you will be feeding your mycelium once you have it on fully colonized uh, grain spawn. Okay, so now that you've got your wheat bran and sawdust uh, mixed well and properly hydrated to fill capacity, you want to take the bag and seal it um, with a heat sealer or whatever you use or have to seal the bag well and pressure cook this for 90 minutes at 15 PSI. Once that process is done, you allow 24 hours for the substrate to cool back down and you will then, in a, a sterile conditions, um, as sterile as possible. Um, hey, what's up everybody? So uh, now that you have completed your um, oak wood sawdust and bran, uh, mix and it's been sterilized and it's set for 24 hours. It is now um, cool to handle. So, um, as you can see, I've got some maitake going. Um, I've got some chicken of the woods going, and I got some uh, lion's mane um, going. So, essentially, what you do is um, you're going to take your colonized grain, grain, uh, like so. Um, this is another jar of maitake. Um, so with this jar here, I'll break it up and turn it into individual grains and in front of the laminar flow hood, um, just cut your bag open um, and pour your entire jar in there. Uh, mix it up really well, reseal it. Um, I found a sealer, as you can see, for $2.92 at the thrift store. This box fan and this fan. Make sure you get a high grade filter. filter. That cheap stuff won't work. Like $45 worth of materials. Um, but this makes it so that you have uh, a, cool, a nice breeze of um, sterile air blowing at you where you can work in front of. It basically makes, and it's, to me personally, it's easier than using a, a, air, a still air box. Um, you just got more room and you, you can just work better. Um, but, oh, actually these are trumpets, but I'm not gonna be using this into, um, into, into this bag. Um, I'll probably use another lion's mane. Uh, but yeah, man, that's pretty much the process. And you know, give us about two weeks. As you can see, the grain now um, is well mixed in with the, the sawdust and wheat bran. Um, and this is gonna continue feeding the mycelium. So um, in about two weeks, when this thing is fully colonized, I'll make a few slits right here to allow fresh air into the bag, which tells the mycelium to start fruiting. Uh, but that's at the point we're at now. Um, hope you guys have fun. Here's a little side note. So this bag was actually just wheat bran and sawdust that I had, I had um, sterilized. And I took some of my liquid culture, and this is actually mine's main. Um, uh, I took some liquid culture and I just shot it into there. But as you can see, the mycelium is just having a really hard time spreading through this. Um, and yeah, it, it's colonizing it but nowhere near as quick as if it would if you had um, used like a uh, grain spawn introduced into the sawdust. Um, the liquid culture is basically, uh, basically like, I think I shot up like maybe three cc's of liquid culture in here. And like I said, yeah, it's taking it over, but man, it's taking forever. And there's still a lot of pieces of the block that have not colonized. This is just a little experiment. I wanted to see what would happen. Um, without grain spawn but as you can see not much is happening so the the, the key is to have to have um a nice healthy um colonized grain spawn and that's the trick